Hey guys, Jim Redditon here from Thinkaholics. We're back at Midwest Dreaming. I'm here with Ian Gotts, the founder of Elements.Cloud. So Ian, what can you tell everybody about what you guys do? Oh, well, we've actually got a, an application and an approach around agile business analysis. And what we've discovered over 20 years and about a thousand projects is that if people don't do business analysis well, and by that I mean more than just, oh, we've got, we've got a few requirements sitting in an Excel spreadsheet or we've, we've drawn a few diagrams, a few flowcharts. You need to do a rigorous job of business analysis. If you do a good job of that, you can reduce the amount of development effort, reduce the rework you do in terms of your Salesforce configuration. That means you're delivering what the customers want, what your users want. So that means you're driving up adoption, you're reducing the risk and the cost of projects. Uh, we've got an approach that's worked in other industries, we're now bringing it to the Salesforce world uh, and now we've built an application that supports all of that so you can capture requirements, document your business processes and then you can suck all your configuration data out of Salesforce so you can relate why you built stuff back to the business processes and the requirements. Then you can build user stories and then you're in a way better position for your developers to build and configure what you need in Salesforce. Okay, so essentially it's for development shops as well as companies to any project they're working on, any you know deliverable deadline for them to kind of organize themselves you know within Salesforce within yeah yeah so um, it's we're aiming it really at the business analyst or actually a Salesforce admin really is a business analyst so it's more aimed at them than it is aimed at the development team uh, because they're the guys who are setting the requirements, setting the need. Uh, but it's relevant, obviously, to every implementation of Salesforce, every consultancy. And in fact, we've built it so that consultants can work really easily with clients. Uh, but it doesn't have to just be Salesforce. I mean, processes, requirements, they, they could be across the whole business. It's not just around around the sales area. Makes sense. Yeah, but we're focused. We're here at uh, supporting Midwest Dreaming because it's just a great group of people around Salesforce. And it, it's, it doesn't feel like an exhibition you're standing at. It feels like you're with a bunch of friends. It, it's, uh, it doesn't feel like work, which is probably wrong. <laughs> so... Um in terms of like reporting and things like that, so you, you, you build these user stories, you build these things, how do you, you know, be able to go back and look at the data or share it with others? Okay, uh, that's really important. So first of all, uh, I mean, whether it's the requirements or the business processes, they can all be shared. We're not talking about this documentation which you do for the project, and then at the end of the project you throw it away. The content you're building is the operations manual for every member of staff, it's their training because you can embed the diagram inside a Salesforce object. It's the, uh, the content that the compliance team need to demonstrate to the regulators, if they're in a regulated environment, that, that all their employees are doing the right things. So uh, really important that this is shared. And I, again, our, our business model, the pricing model, for most of the products, it's a freemium model. So therefore, every, every requirement, every user story, unlimited number of users, that's free. Uh, the business processes, uh, that's all completely free. There are some advanced features around version control, uh, which is the pro feature. But the, you're only paying for editors. Every viewer is always free. So this is about getting everybody seeing this content. Okay. Really and version control for Salesforce, or? That's a great question. No, it's, it's version control for all of that content. There's some great okay. ways of versioning. That makes sense. Got, with sandboxes uh, inside Salesforce, we're about versioning the requirements, the business processes. Um, but what, one really important thing is that configuration. We can suck all the stuff out of setup. So I know, all the Apex triggers, all the Visual Force pages, all the profiles, all that stuff that's buried somewhere in setup. Get it into a nice, easy list so you can navigate it, but then re relate that back to why did we use this? So you ask the question about reporting. The real question for lots of admins is, you come back to and go, if I change this, what am I going to break? Right. And most of the people, the approach is you change it and then you go, <laughs> No one screamed, hey, that was all right. <laughs> and that's just got to be wrong. Right. So this idea of actually giving some people some insights into what was, why did we configure this six months ago or why did the consultants f configure this for us so you can make some sensible decisions about how you change. And without that, you kill all the agility of the organization because you don't want to change stuff because you're worried about breaking it. And, you know, interesting thing about the version control, like if, if I wrote a user story and there was an evolution of it and then, you know, we get to the end point and someone's like, well, did you think about this? And we can go back and look at the first user story. So that's, that's nice. And that, that's important both from a dev perspective. It's also really important from a compliance perspective. Yeah. And so if you think about the, the dev environment, there are products like Agile Accelerator and Jira. 
really good, rigorous ways of building development. Think of us as the JIRA for the business analysis, the bit that goes, all the bit that goes beyond, uh, before you start doing the development. So is it an application you install? Is it cloud-based? Can you, does it work on mobile? Okay, so it's, uh, we're on AWS, so we're completely separate from Salesforce, but you have a managed package which then connects to Salesforce to integrate it, so single sign-on, so you can deliver diagrams inside objects, so we can uh, suck all that configuration data out. So yeah, we're, we're a standalone app, um, not relevant necessarily to mobile because most people are looking at building diagrams, but again, we're looking at how we deliver that in different formats for mobile, and we're talking to a, a number of customers about how we would make that work. Makes sense. Um, all right, so if someone wants to get their hands on it and try it out, what's the best thing for them to do? Easy. You go to elements.cloud, top right-hand corner, you can register. Uh, obviously, as I said, it's a freemium app. You can get going. There's a ton of training. Uh, we're currently building uh, a, a more comprehensive training program uh, at sort of in the trailhead style, not for the product, but actually for this agile business analysis approach. Our passion is making sure that all those admins are out there have the business analysis skills to do a way better job than they're currently doing. And if we can do that, it makes their life easier, makes their, the adoption of their applications better, um, and then they're happy, Salesforce is happy because the, the adoption of Salesforce goes up. And what would be some example topics like, uh, you know, agile development or ga requirement gathering? Like Yeah, yeah. so it's, if you think about the cycle, it's how to capture requir requirements, how to actually drive them through a small sort of uh, that little change cycle. Secondly is how to, how to capture business processes. Uh, and I, I'm sort of fairly relaxed about most things, but I'm really dogmatic about this. You have to map top down with a very simple n n diagram notation, more, no more than eight or 10 boxes on a screen and build out that hierarchy top down. I see that happening so rarely, but I've seen it happen in the sorry, thousand plus projects we've run where it just works. So helping people understand that. I mean, it's, not, it's no harder than the way they're currently working. It's just that people have never thought about do doing that way. Yeah. So then there's that, and then there's just the whole way of driving version control, which again is not something that's typically done. If you're sticking some requirements in Excel, drawing a few flowcharts in Visio, you'd never think about versioning that. Right. So it's just giving people an understanding about how to go through that cycle really simply so that they can pick it up. So you can have badges that we can earn? Or? In fact, you, as, uh, <laughs> let me find your badge. So absolutely, there's your Agile Business Analysis badge. <laughs> so nice. Absolutely. So yeah, we're, we're building the, the, the content so it's in the trailhead style, uh, so you can take modules that you can work your way through. No app that we're passionate about actually helping the whole of this community just do a better job and make life easier. All right, well, Ian, th thanks so much for your time. Hey, fantastic. Good to see you again. Hey, if you like our videos, please be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter.